Hello guys, welcome to my uh, quickbooks training. Today we are going to be treating how to uh, record uh, purchase discount. So this purchase discount are of two types. Uh, the first of which is trade discount and the second is cash discount. The trade discount is almost neglected, it's almost not recorded in a uh, there's almost no, rec no record for trade discount because you're actually paying the net. That is to say, if your supplier is selling to you 100 Naira, or uh, let's make use of 100,000, and decided to give you uh, a 10% of uh, a 10% of 100,000, then in that case, you are paying just 90,000 directly so you see that is about three discount you are paying instantly to encourage instant payment okay now let's take an example for that so uh how do we do that so we are receiving an item but this time around we are paying so we go straight to writing to write check or you uh, type control uh, W or you click here and write check whichever okay uh, to take us to the right check window now under the right check window you are going to select the bank that you are making that payment from I only have one here which is purchase you can see it's zero but QuickBook can still allow you to incur this to carry out this transaction uh, to give you a negative balance okay today's date is 21st of January 2023 I'm going to select um, the vendor I'm buying from. Okay, that is that. Okay, so I'm going to select, I'm going to work on item. Uh, let's say I say ceiling fan. Uh, okay, then the ceiling fan is uh, 100,000. Just one ceiling fan. Just one. 100,000. Okay. Now, but mind you, we said you are giving 10% discount. So in trade discount, you don't record the 100,000, you record directly the 90,000. Because you did not actually pay for the 10,000. You did not pay. So it's just like the price is 90,000 initially. That is trade discount. So there's no need of recording 100,000 and let Aaron deducting 10,000 as a discount. No. This is a trade discount on the uh, uh, as that when you are buying you are already paying for it so you are paying only ninety thousand being that you're giving a discount of a trade discount of ten percent is that all right so you can go ahead and click save and close you see uh our account here is minus ninety thousand you can come to uh, Company chart of accounts or control A. So you see what our account look like. Uh, you see minus ninety thousand. Then our inventory asset has increased by uh, ninety thousand. Hope that is fine. Okay. The second instance is the second example is the uh, cash discount. So let's go back home. So cash discount is used to encourage quick payment. So should in case you bought something on credit from a supplier and the supplier gave you a discount that okay if you pay within certain number of days i'm going to give you a discount so that's what we're going to make use of that so definitely you are buying on credit so i'm not going to write check i'm going to receive inventory with bill with bill so it means i actually received the bill but i've not paid so this will enable quickbook to create an account payable for me so that we'll be able to track the suppliers we are owing. You understand? Okay. I'm going to select the DBS company. Okay. Now we have a list of options there. 2% uh, 10 uh, net 30. And 1% 10 uh, net 30. So if you're not comfortable with that let's say your uh, supplier is giving you uh, a 10% discount as we did initially 
but this amount is a cash discount so i'm going to add new to create uh mine so it's going to be 10 uh percent uh let's say 20 days or even 10 days okay 10 net uh 30 okay so due in 30 days discount here is within 10 days then how many percent we say 10 percent okay as good as that click on okay which will come up now so you see uh 21 of uh, january and this 20th of uh, february that is the due date yeah that is like a month that is the 30 days yeah, remember it was 30 days now the discounting date would not be this date it will be 10 days which is today is 21st now you can see here now we have 31st so if i'm going to pay this bill before 31st uh i'm going to receive a discount of 10 percent so let's select the item ceiling fan so i'm going to purchase me one at that same 100,000. now remember here now i'm using 100,000, not 90,000. in the case of net trade discount you are recording the net instantly because you are not making full payment you are making a net payment so but this time around you are making you are recording for 100,000. this is the the, the 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 cost of the item you are purchasing as that's when you are making this transaction so uh okay then save and close okay now if we pull out our report let's go to company and financial uh balance sheet okay now you see our ninety thousand petty cash is still there right now remember we we can double click it to see the what it's composed of the first one is the ninety thousand uh check paid that's for trade discount now the second one now is the hundred thousand making the total of a eh, one ninety thousand that is for our inventory but we have a new account now which is a eh, account payable of hundred thousand let's say we are holding this cost uh, supplier hundred thousand so let's go back home and make payment for this eh, transaction and see what so we've entered you've received inventory with bill so the next thing to do is to follow this chart and pay the bill or you can also write check once you bring up the supplier's name it will pop up a message uh, indicating and notifying you that you are holding this uh, particular supplier so i'm going to go ahead and pay the bill now uh, remember we don't have anything in our account we only have minus uh, 90,000, which is also there so i'm going to select you can select do on or before depending on if you have a lot of bill to pay or maybe you do pay them on a weekly basis or for two weeks basis you understand so you're going to select them to sort them that okay i'm going to pay for those that are due on or before the particular date you understand so i'm going to show all b now you can see selecting due on or before 31st uh that particular transaction is not due except i select second uh, uh okay let's see 20 okay you see it has come up okay so but this time around uh let's use show all bills so i'm going to select this your bill might be plenty so it might be many so you might want to make use of this feature okay now um, i've selected that now you see there is a term here 10 percent so i'm going to set that discount so that i receive a discount so you see uh amount to pay now is ninety thousand. discount use is ten thousand so you're going to ask you which account you want to make the discount to so i have an income account here uh you know discount receive goes to uh the income statement so i have it set already as income so i'm going to don't uh click on done you see now that uh any balance now is 180 that is i paid extra 90,000 instead of the 100,000 so i'm going to pay selected bid now okay okay that is that i can decide to go back to the window to pay more bills print the check or click on done okay now let's go to populate our reports this is a report company financial let's go to profit and loss standard 
uh, I assume you might not see. Okay, good. You see, there is a purchase discount, which is serve as an income uh, noted. Now let's go to company and financial balance sheet, so we can see what has transpired. So we have one eighty thousand. We paid ninety ninety thousand twice. The second one was supposed to be hundred, but because of the discount we enjoyed, it now recorded one eighty. The eventual assets to remain one ninety, which is also correct. Okay. Now the net income, which is coming from profit or loss, is giving us ten thousand. Hope you guys understand this illustration. If you have any question, uh, feel free to drop it on the comment section. Uh, please like my video, share it, and click on the notification bar so that you get notified as soon as I make a new uh, video and upload. So, nice to have you guys. Uh, see you in my next class. Then, bye.